As most people know, despite some of the similarities, jail and prison are two very different places. And while prison is typically thought of as being worse than jail, some might be surprised to learn that in most cases, staying in jail for extended periods of time is actually quite a bit more difficult than staying in prison. And since the resolution of Brian's trial could likely take years, he would in all actuality be less miserable if he was already in prison instead of spending that time in the jail that he's currently in. The reason there's a difference between jails and prisons really just comes down to their function. Jails hold people for shorter periods of time, while prisons hold people for significant portions of their lives, sometimes even the rest of their lives. And because of this, they have different rules and regulations regarding their living conditions and services that they offer. As someone who has spent a little bit of time in a small Idaho jail, I can tell you that in the tiny jail that Brian is in, He's lucky if he has access to more than a dozen books. Reading might not be the most popular activity now for a lot of people, but behind bars, that is one of the best ways to pass time. Another aspect of jail life that's going to be really crappy for Brian is going to be the food. Now, jail food is already notorious for being pretty bad, but Brian's locked up in a small Idaho County jail, and he's on a vegan diet. Now, I don't know exactly what he's allowed to eat in there, but I'd venture to say that his diet is primarily consisting of PB&J sandwiches, dry salads with no dressing, and water. Yeah. I'll talk more about it in a minute, but in prison, the options for this type of diet would be significantly better than a small jail. Another reason why being in jail instead of prison is going to really suck for Brian is because in most jails, especially a small one like this, there's no options for an outside rec yard. That means until his trial is over and he is sentenced, his entire life will be confined to this one space that's smaller than your average sized apartment building. Now if you compare that to most prisons, they're going to have an outside recreation yard that looks more or less like this. There's usually some grass, a track where they can walk around the perimeter, some exercise equipment, a basketball court where they can shoot hoops, just various ways for them to get fresh air and to be able to exercise their bodies and their minds. Now, if Brian is found guilty, he'll almost certainly be in protective custody for the rest of his life to prevent other inmates from hurting him. So his outdoor rec time will likely be in some kind of protective cage like this. And while that may not be ideal for him, still, getting seven hours a week outside in the sun and fresh air in one of these cages would still be infinitely better than spending 24 hours a day 365 days a year, locked up in the basement of the Latok County Public Library, or jail, or whatever the heck it is. And back to the food situation. While prison food is by no stretch of the imagination gourmet cuisine, compared to the options available in a small county jail, it's going to be a lot better, especially for somebody who's wanting to eat vegan. Prisons have such a diverse population with so many different religions and their eating restrictions and people on diets and allergies and things like that, that for somebody who wants to have a specialized diet, prison would be a much better option than jail. A pretty well-known loophole in prison is for some inmates to claim that they are Jewish even though they're not just so they can get in on the kosher meals that the prisons are required to offer. For example, here's a picture of kosher meals that are being served at a prison, I believe it's in New York. And while this may not look like the most appetizing food on the planet, you could see how for somebody who's vegan in prison, this would actually be a better option than some of the other alternatives. And besides all these reasons that I just mentioned, there are other things that make prisons more tolerable than jail. As I mentioned before, a lot of jails lack books and other entertainment options. Whereas in prison, there's libraries, book carts, and a lot of inmates even get their own TV in their cell. In prison, they have better options for hygiene. They have their own barber shops and all kinds of stuff like that. They have work opportunities where inmates can earn money that they can spend at a canteen. There's education and degree opportunities, but I didn't really want to go into those too in depth since I don't really think they're going to apply to Brian's situation too much since he's likely going to be in a pretty restrictive lockdown. I just thought this could be an interesting video to make because I know a lot of people are anticipating and excited for Brian to be punished officially. But in reality, the longer he sits in that jail, I believe the more miserable he's going to be. The only real benefit Brian has sitting in that jail as opposed to a prison is he can still cling to that hope that maybe he'll be found not guilty and he'll be free one day. But I think a lot of us think there's a pretty slim chance of that happening. As always, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.